It just doesn't make any they, sense. Cause they, right they, after listen, I text you, you I go cry to my roommate, life. girl. Like, and to girl, hear someone come up to you. And sometimes it's about my own personal life, but don't you ever think it's always about you, Ace. I'm done. Hello everyone, I am Owen Holt. And I am Markel Washington, and you are watching Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room. Today, we are being joined by three of the most iconic players from this season. Please welcome the fabulous and talented Ace B. King, hey. Eileen, Hi. and Coley. Woo! What is up? Welcome to Hi. the Vibe Room. Hi. Ace, yeah, so this is your first time actually physically in the Vibe Room. How is it compared to being on virtually? It's giving me everything it needs to give, honestly. It gives me vibe room vibes. Good. Y'all eating Definitely. that. Y'all eating that right on up, as y'all should. <laughs> hey, Colin, how are you doing over there? Hello, Markel. I'm doing great. I'm just chilling at home, ready to vibe, you know? Eileen, how are you doing today? Good, I'm happy to be here. Oh, I'm happy you're here. And guys, y'all, y'all strategy that y'all are taking through this last little finish up of the season is mm -hmm. It's immaculate. How are you guys, like, what are y'all feeling about that? I mean, as we should, like, Really, just been, stay, yeah. stay into ourselves, really. Yeah. Like, whatever happens, like, I'm gonna go report it back to Eileen. Whatever happens on her end, she's gonna report it back to me, but keep it low key. Like, yeah. don't, I'm not gonna stay up her ass, and she's not gonna right. stay up my ass. Are you guys in, like, a secret alliance right now, or what's going on? I don't even on? know if I would call it that, like, I guess. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, I'll say since I mean, day one, girl. Yeah, I just, we, we clicked. <laughs> it was the hair. It was the hair. Okay, guys. So we have to get down to business and talk about the latest and the greatest that happened on this week's A and I episode. So much went on, and we need to discuss it ASAP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Markel. This week's episode was sponsored by HP and the Spectre laptop because you can't be an influencer without a brand deal. The housemates competed in an HP challenge where Jake took home the victory with his unique and creative TikTok that really showcased the HP Spectre X360's flexibility. Let's take a look. What is up everybody, Jake Clark here, and I'm here with the HP Spectre. And today, we're gonna be having a competition to see who's more flexible. Alrighty, first up, we have the upward position. Next up, we have 10 position. Next up, we have easel position. <sighs> I can't do it. And finally, we have tablet mode. All right, you win. And the winner of the flexibility challenge today is the HP Spectre. Congratulations. Be sure to check out this episode to watch the entire challenge. But the real drama started when Ace, you were just sitting by the challenge zone and you got up and called out Rave for calling you fake. So let's roll the clip. Okay, babe, I'm gonna what? address you about that. Really if I'm having a conversation with them about it. her, it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you. In a discussion, log out by, you're done. Oh my goodness, guys. That had to be one of the craziest moments of the season. Yeah. I agree. They're reliving that moment. I was literally about to say, reliving that moment just made me high. Let me go on a <laughs> brave, brave real quick. What was, what was like going through your mind when that whole thing was happening? So really, it was just the conversation of like, or just like me realizing like, Rave, you're really not being the person that you, like you're not conveying the realness that you're putting out. So like, I had to let her know real quick, like, girl, I'm from the South. We do this for real. So if you uh, want to act like you can play this big bad guy, you're doing it awfully, by the way. You want to play this big bad guy? Well, I'm going to show you, like, girl, let me put the handcuffs on you real quick and throw you in the pan, baby. Ace, I really want to know, do you regret blowing up at Rave or do you stand by what you said? Um, Honestly, I don't regret a thing because <laughs> <laughs> at the yeah. end of the day, if I feel like she was doing me wrong or messing my game up, of course, girl, let me come eat you up. Let me come, let me come be the hyena or the crazy bitch that you were claiming that I am the whole time. Where did she go after she like stormed off? Like she just disappeared, I feel like. See, and that was the thing that like pissed me off because even before her and Coley came over, I was letting them know already, they're gonna try to come over here. Say, get, yeah. gather what we say and go take it back and stir the pot, basically. So wait, Coley was a part of um, raving them. Hold up, up, hold up. Let Coley get in here. So actually, when I came over there, I just got off the phone and I was really emotional and I had some problems going on. And I knew Ace was good about talking about stuff. So I went over there for comfort. 
and I just got thrown out. I had nothing to do with rave and all that. I already knew all the fake shit. So I really came over for comfort, but I got thrown into a whole other circle. But of course, like, I could see why he thought that, but that was definitely not what it is. No, Coley Girl, because like literally you and Maddie ass, Maddie, my roommate, were sitting up in the front talking about me. Like that's fake as girl. Ace, I don't, Ace, I really don't want to break your heart because you are so confident and I look up to that. But in the episode, it's clear I'm behind talking to Michelle. I did say one word about your name. I'm sorry, you're not that important to oh. me. I was talking to Michelle saying, I'm having such a hard time relating to people. People are saying they love me and then, and then like I can't go to anyone with all my personal stuff because I just feel like everyone's fake. And I have to act fake around you guys because you guys are not welcoming. Everyone's always trying to eat someone. I was having the most emotional time in my life. It's just, someone else. It's just like, weird, it's me. just I weird, mean, girl, sorry, it's weird. But I was in the front crying, having an anxiety attack. And if you don't know, I know the watchers know, anxiety attacks or psycho, you can't control them. And it was all about an issue that was going, at, like, going on at home. I'm like, I'm like getting emotional thinking about it because it was really hard. And then just, I was crying. And then just to hear like Ace come at me and just be like, why are you talking about me? You're so fake. Like, Girl, I wasn't being fake. I was crying about my personal still, stuff. It's still the same sob story. Like, it just doesn't make any babe, sense. Because right babe, after listen, I text you, you go home, cry to my roommate. Life. Girl, like, you're, yeah. like it's Girl, fake. You said okay, you're yes. fake. Ray hey, is babe. fake. And babe. if Michelle want to be hey, fake, babe, Michelle can babe. be fake, too. And babe. Maddie might as well be you fake, are too, so for sitting up there talking to your ass for that long. And to hear someone come up to you and just think it's about them, no. Sometimes it's about my own personal life, and I showed that, and I'm proud I did, but don't you ever think it's always about you, Ace. I'm done. No! Oh, she oh. Wait, Wait, did she yeah. leave? She didn't Where'd she go? speak our piece. Girl, we'll see her at the reunion, girl. She don't leave that either. Whew. I can't believe she left. That was insane. I appreciate the honesty, and I hope that honesty carries over to our first game that we are about oh. to play right now. We call it You're Fake. And Ace, do you remember screaming that to Raven Coley? Yeah, multiple times. That's where we got the idea for the game, <laughs> so thank you for that. But now it's time to see who's the fakest, the sneakiest, and the person who lies the most in the room. Each of you will take turns telling two truths about yourself, but one lie. So kind of like two truths and a lie, makes sense? Yeah. And both of you will have to decide which one is each other's lie. And just to make things a little bit more spicier, if either you guess which one's the uh, fake fact, the other person will then be able to tell you to text anyone in the a and I house something of their choice. Please. Okay. I know you guys are friends, but you <coughs> are playing against each other for this game. So okay. don't hold back. All right, Eileen, you are actually up first for this game. So in any random order, you can say your two truths and a lie whenever you're ready. Ah, wait. Um, so I hooked up with my favorite YouTuber's best friend. Um, I kissed more than one cast member in the house, and Damn. I secretly don't like Matt. Those were all really good. I don't good. know which Each one. of them are like, I feel like they're lies, but they're, <laughs> two of them are true. All right, Ace, you gotta figure out which one's fake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop. I'm gonna say the first one. The YouTuber's best friend? Yeah. That's, Is it? That was true. Oh! oh no! So wait, what's the tea on that? Who's your favorite YouTuber? Nobody, I can't tell you guys. I'll just sell so it out. So was the lie you secretly don't like, like Matt? Matt? Because I actually do like Matt. Wait, so. so that means you kissed another person from the house. That means that was true. But I won't tell. Oh I my won't even God. say the gender. What happens in Vegas stays Whoa, in Vegas. she <laughs> says she won't even say the gender. So it, it'll the... sell it out. Like, uh, you guys you guys don't even know. Okay, I'm interested to hear your truth. Yes. The, uh, okay, me too. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's see what's I'm your fake. All right, so I used to want to be a pizza stripper, man. I failed uh, a grade, but then I still graduated early. And um, my favorite color is red. Okay. okay, so Eileen, you've heard all three. Which one do you think is fake? Um, I think the fake one is that you failed a grade but still graduated early. Girl, yeah. <laughs> That's the fake one. That's the fake one. Oh, yeah, she got it right. <laughs> Congrats. So you wanted what? to be a stripper? I used to tell my mom I wanted to be a pizza stripper, man. So, yeah. oh, so now Ace has to take anybody from the A&I house that you want him to take. Because he got it wrong. Who would that be? Right. Um, you, I'm going to have you text Matt. 
Oh my but it has God. to it has to be on something like flirty. I like really want to kiss you right now. Oh, oh my yes, God. that's so good. <laughs> High five. Wait, that is even, good. He wouldn't even kiss me in the house. We're playing spin the bottle. After watching the episode, <laughs> doing more. You really look good to me. Let's date. I know. He's out of stuff. Maybe Wait, he's out of stuff. He's going on. Well, from fake facts to real trends, it's time to talk about some real drama that's going on in the TikTok world. Have y'all seen it? It's literally, uh, it's like a hashtag going around, black creators take a strike. Because Megan Thee Stallion had created the new song, Thought Shit, and no one wants to choreograph a dance. None of the black creators, at least, want to choreograph a dance because um, <clears throat> they aren't getting the credit that they deserve. Like, nobody's giving them dance credit. So then what do y'all think about that? Seriously, like, that's just so wrong. Like, you are taking credit for something that you didn't, you weren't even original about, and I think that's so wrong. What Michelle, what Coley was doing to Michelle is different, was like, locating a different life than yeah. what is happening to, like, the black creators because like you said, the black creators don't get the recognition they need, so like, why put forth the effort if y'all aren't gonna award me for the things that I have done for y'all? So I feel like, yeah, call Charlie out. I don't got no problem with Charlie, but Charlie, girl, you are one of the main people. Addison, you too, girl. And the list just goes on and on. So I guess until people really understand and grasp the fact that we're human too, just a different skin tone, girl, give us our credit and you can keep it pushing and we'll be happy. There won't be no problem. Well, thank you guys so much for being open and so honest about your opinions. Well, now it's time for the show where we actually get you guys, yes, the fans involved. These are real questions from Real Awesomeness TV fans, so let's see what the people want to know. And remember, if these questions are too personal or too controversial, don't blame us. Blame, blame the, the fans. fans. That's right. All right, guys, so for the first question we have coming from Isaiah Kingdom, he asked, who is the most rude from the A&I house to you guys? Everybody had their moments, but I think overall, it was Rave. Yeah, I was gonna say Rave too, not just because of the incident we just no, had, I just, but I was gonna yeah. say because your character's rude. Just how you treat other, like I know it's a game and kudos to you for playing the game, but that's rude. Yeah. And moving on to the next one, Yugi's Coffee asks, why are you guys putting Matt at the bottom? I see this question more than I see. That is like the top thing that I see. Because Matt's got an army, that's why. He does, and I don't blame him. I mean, he's he's popular. He's huge on like TikTok and stuff. But, but the why thing is, is living in the house with Matt, Matt was so absent. He, Matt exactly, was absent. Exactly. All right, guys, and to finish up the fan questions, Jessica asks, do you think Coley deserves to be back this season? Mm -hmm. um, Not here this season. Yeah, I mean, she left, so. I mean, honestly, I would say, uh, looking at y'all's cast from season one, Coley was like kind of the best besides you. I don't know, I just, sure. no, I feel like she was just kind of like a fill-in. <laughs> Well, thank you both for answering those questions truthfully. And thank you all at home for asking those questions. If we didn't get to your questions, don't worry. You're going to have a chance to get your question answered next episode. So keep commenting and we'll try our best to get to it. But that does leave us with our last game of the day. So obviously, Ace, you're so good at hearing people <laughs> even when they're whispering. <laughs> so that gave me the idea to come up with the game, the Whisper Challenge. Whisper Challenge. So you both are gonna take turns putting on noise cancellation headphones while the other person is going to keep their ears open trying to listen to what the other person is whispering. So whoever is answering the questions, make sure you whisper into the mic so the other person can't hear. Eileen, you can actually put on the headphones first and Ace has the microphone. Hey Eileen, can you hear us? Oh, <laughs> that's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to start. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. So Ace, you're up first. If you had to describe Eileen in one word, what would it be? Classy. Light skin? Oh. <laughs> Classy. Sexy. Classy. Classy. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I get it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it right! Congrats! What was it? Wait, 
So the question was, describe Eileen in one word. And he said classy. I was gonna say pretty beautiful, but I didn't want to be too easy. Nah. He goes, light skin. Light skin. Light skin. <laughs> so you guys can actually Wait. switch, so you can give the headphones to Ace, which okay. means Eileen, you will be whispering into the mic. All right, Eileen, my question for you is to describe Ace in one word. Fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, bitch? Fashionable. Fashionable. Okay, wait, that's enough more hints. What, what Why am I seeing fat slump supplement? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Ace, Ace, take it off. Okay. So, what do you think she was whispering? Fashion icon, fat supplement. You're so close. But, <laughs> Eileen, what is it? Fashionable. Oh. <laughs> You got a half right. saying, Why do I think she's on some fat supplement icon? <laughs> so one point for Eileen and no points for Ace B King. Eileen, can you hear me? All right, Ace B King, describe Michelle in one word. Whisper it into the mic. Porcelain. Poison? Mm, no, but porcelain. I used to say she had like porcelain skin. One more time. Porcelain. Porcelain. Damn. Get the out of here. Right. Girl, what? I asked him to describe someone in the house. Who do you think it was? Who do you think we were talking about? Porcelain? Yes. Who in the house? Michelle? Oh my god. Oh my god. It just, her skin. Face lover. Good job. Air five. Boom. Boom. Eileen has two points and Ace B King has zero, so he's gonna need some catching up to do. You can't even hear me. <laughs> All right, Eileen, my next question for you is to describe Eddie in one word. Oh, that's gonna be easy. I'm gonna say something else. Sensitive. One more time. Sensitive. Sexy? Sensitive. Sensitive. Yes! Oh. Take out the headphones. Oh. What do you think she was saying? Sensitive. That is correct! Oh, I said that. I said at that time. Who do you think she was talking about when she says who was sensitive? Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Eddie was sensitive. He was. Eileen, you won that game. Thank you. So Second game today. Second game today, 2-0. Oh. Keep killing it. With that being said, though, that does bring our show of today's Vibram episode to a close. Thank you so much, Ace B. King and Eileen, for coming on and blessing us today. We had so much fun having you guys here and just the energy that y'all brought was literally unreal. And then unreal. I was gonna say thank you to Colby for being here, but she was really never here after the first half of the show. We'll so. see her, we'll yeah, see her. We'll see her later, girl. Ooh. But most importantly, thank you all so much at home for watching this episode of Austin Miss TV's Vibe Room. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button while also hitting that bell, so that way you get notified every time we post. I'm Owen Holt. And I'm Mark Hill Washington, and you're watching... Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room. Have a good Bye, night, guys. guys! Bye! In today's challenge, you're splitting into two teams and shooting a diss track about your opposing team. Nah, I do not want that to win. Oh my god, you're being so annoying right now, Rave. Okay, adios! And the winner of today's diss track challenge is...